Hey, what's up, guys? It's Card Chef Flurry 99 here, and today I have a really cool card trick to show you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Now, guys, our AirPod Pro giveaway has concluded. At this point, it is now over. We've already contacted the winner. We will post the official announcement video later today, if not tomorrow. But once again, the winner has already been contacted and has responded to us already. We do have a new giveaway, $300 of Amazon gift cards we're going to be giving away. That's the first giveaway of 2020. If you guys want to add to your like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your 2020 goals, and make sure you guys have your post notifications turned on. That's all you have to do to enter. And anyway, let's get straight into the card trick. For this really cool trick, let's go ahead and get into it by giving the deck a quick shuffle. All right, guys. And then we need our spectator to go ahead and select any card in the deck. It doesn't matter what card our spectator selects. Go ahead. Can you see it? Uh, no, it's it's fine. Just don't let me see it. Okay. All right, what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll take your selection, place it somewhere into the middle of the deck just like that, and let's continue on here. So, Adam, what we have over here is we have two aces. Now, what we're going to do with these two aces We'll, we'll, we'll tell you in a little bit. You, you'll find out. Trust me with that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead. We'll take two aces and we'll set them down right over here. Leave them to the side just like that. Now, Adam, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to dribble down through the cards. Just say stop whenever you would like. Stop. Here. Yep. All right. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll take the aces and set them down just like that. And we'll go ahead, complete the cut just like that, and square up the cards. Now, all we have to do... Let's give a little wave over the cards. And you'll actually see, we can go ahead, we can spread the cards out. We can actually show you one card appears in between the two aces. And it just happens to be your selection, the two of diamonds. That is a trick, guys. Let's go ahead and learn how to do this really awesome and cool effect. So. What you're going to need for this trick, guys, sadly, you do need a double backer for this trick. So, if you guys do not have a double backer, it's all right. You guys can take some double-sided tape, and what you, you, you can do is um, take two cards, put a piece of double-sided tape right here, go ahead, and then just push them together, and you have yourself a double backer. So, that's one option of what you guys can do. Um, yeah, so having a normal double backer does help with this trick, and there's two ways or two things you guys can do, and I'm gonna show you two variations. So if you guys don't wanna do the model tilt, there is another thing you can do. So let's go ahead and learn how to do this. You can choose any two cards. I like the aces, you can do queens, you can do kings, jacks, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You're just gonna start with them face off, uh, off to the side, face down, and you're gonna have your double backer on top. Now, you guys, once again, there's two ways you can start off this trick. Well, first of all, you can shuffle the cards, guys. But it's very important that the double backer stays on top of the deck. No matter what happens, you just got to make sure this double backer stays on top of the deck just like that. And from here, what you can do next is after the deck is shuffled, if you want, you can palm off the double backer, let them shuffle the deck, and then just place a double backer back on top. You can have the spectator select any card in the deck. It really does not matter what card the spectator selects. So... Let's go ahead. They select the three of diamonds. We'll use that for our tutorial today. So what you're going to do is you need to get a break under this top card here because you are going to perform a Marlowe tilt. So how you can do this, you need to riffle down with your thumb until you have one card, transfer it to a pinky break, and you're going to do a Marlowe tilt. Or you guys can just push off while doing a wrist kill. But be careful not to flash it like that, guys, as you can see. You know, just something like this, very subtle. And just get a break under there. Go ahead, just make it even throughout the cards. And what you're going to do is a Marlow tilt. So you're going to take the selection. And what you guys can do is you can you know, push out a few cards from the middle, something like that. And then you're going to put their card in the second position. But from an angle like this, it's going to look you know, more like it's going to go through the center. So don't go like this, guys, so where they can sort of see there's nothing there. Just make sure you're at a good angle. All right, you can practice this in the mirror. And when you push the card in, something you guys can do is you can just angle up a little bit. Just turn your hands like this, and that will hide anything that happens. And what you're doing is you're bringing their selection to the second position. So once again, guys, here's what you're going to do. So you go, go ahead, you're going to get your break, just like this. You're going to take their card, 
push it into the middle, but you're really just pushing it into the second position, just like that, while making a hand motion like that. And that will hide, you know, what your movement and what you are doing. So let's go ahead. We're going to continue on from here, guys. Here's what you're going to do. So from after here, basically you have the double backer and their selection in the second position. And that's where you're at right now. There's many other ways you guys can do this. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can control the card to the second position under the double backer any way you want, guys. There's a couple other ways you can do it. But I'm not going to get into detail about that. So, guys, from here what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead... And you need to get a break under the top two cards. So what you guys can do is you go ahead with your thumb, riffle down through the cards until you get two cards and transfer it to a pinky break just like this. So basically you need a break under their selection and the double backer just like that. So once again, go ahead, just riffle down through the cards. Once you get to two, right, you're going to go ahead and grab your break. From here, what you guys are going to do is... You can have them, while you're getting this break, guys, one good thing I like to do is go ahead and just have them examine the aces. And what this does is this brings the attention away from the deck, right? They're going to be looking at the aces, you know, is there, you know, maybe it's two cards, there's something up, up, up with these things, right? They're going to be looking for something, but they're not going to find anything because they're completely normal. While they're doing that, that's a good time to get this break that I'm talking about right now. So that's very good because, you know, it will hide you know, when you're looking, you know, try to get, trying to get the break here. So get a break under the two cards. All right. After you get a break under the two cards, you're going to go ahead, take the aces back from the spectator. They can examine them. And you're going to put them on top of the deck just like this and square everything up. Now, what, you're, what you have here is you have a break under four cards. All right. Selection, double backer, and the two aces. So basically, you have a break under those four cards. What you're going to do is you're going to come over with your other hand here. And you're going to pick up everything above the break. Make sure it's squared up first. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to have four cards here, guys. You're going to peel off the first ace, just like this. And you're going to, you're going to explain the aces, you know, what they're going to do in the trick. After you peel off the first ace, you're going to place the second ace and the two cards behind it. Those two cards behind it right there. And you're going to place all of those right on top of, my bad there, guys, right on top of this ace right here. So... Basically, what you're doing is you're taking the double backer and their selection, and you're placing it on top of this ace, just like that. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, and you're going to feel for two cards, guys, and you're going to lift up on two cards, all right? So you're lifting up on two cards, leaving the selection and the ace right there on the deck, right? You're going to be leaving them there, and what you're going to do is you're going to be in a situation, you're, you get a break under these two cards, right? And you're going to go ahead, you're going to pick them up, flip them over, and just separate them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, one, uh, separate them. So don't have this one on top of here. You need to split them apart because this is the double backer, and you'll explain, uh, you guys will see why in a little bit later in this tricks. So from here, you're in a situation where you have a face-up ace and their selection face down on top, so you cannot do anything you know, like that and flash the ace. From here, I'm going to go over that one more time, guys, just to make sure you guys understand a little bit quicker. So basically, you start off, you have a, my bad there, guys. You have a break under the selection and the double backer. You take the aces. You're going to go ahead, place them on top, lift up on all four cards, peel off the first ace, place the rest of the cards on top, feel for two cards. Go ahead, take it, flip it over, and spread out the cards just like that. And you are set from here. So from here, what you guys are going to do is you're going to go ahead, flip over the deck just like that, and you're going to dribble down, and you're going to ask them to say stop. When you're doing this, do not go like this, guys, because you will flash this right here. So what you do is just start by, you know, maybe five cards. Start dribbling from there. So just start the dribble by lifting up, you know, maybe just leaving down five, ten cards. Go ahead, then start your dribble. That way you don't flash anything. Or you can just dribble on an angle like this where they cannot see anything. Say stop whenever you want. They, they won't be able to see anything. So whenever they say stop, just make sure you don't flash that. You're going to go ahead. You're going to place this packet in the top hand down. You're going to take the double backer. You're going to place it down first. Then you're going to place the actual ace down second. So that's why you had them. They weren't on top of each other like this. You had them like this. You're going to take it. Place this one here. Do not do not show it. Take this one, place it right there. 
place the rest of the cards on top, square everything up, go ahead, you can flip the cards over, spread them out, and show that the two aces have caught their selection. And that is the trick, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this cool trick. And thank you guys so much for watching this card shuffler. 99, peace out.